Hey day everyone. Um, thanks to a friend of ours, Farmer Jason. I've got myself a pork belly. Homemade bacon. My own bacon. I'm going to be smoking. This will um, probably be brining for about a week. And we've got smoking to do, slice it up, and I'm going to have a variety of homemade bacons. bacons. Um, so this one video will take a little bit of time. There's a few steps involved. But boy, really looking forward to this. Never done this before. It's going to be exciting. Doing something new. That's what makes life fun. Just uh, took a slice, took a section off. Beautiful marbling in the belly. Lots of meat. I was going to cook up so nice. Smoke up and cook up. Oh, the breakfast. The pork and beans. Oh, what I'm going to create with this. I pause there with lost in thought there. Just like, I'm in awe. I'm in awe. Great. I've got the uh, portions made that will fit in the smoker. Of a little chief smoker. But we're away from that yet. These are pieces. And then I have a lot of awesome bacon. Awesome bacon. I'm going to be driving the neighbors uh, crazy as they smell the smoke when I'm at that process. Smelling breakfast. We're going to be wanting breakfast. Just go, go get some farm eggs and treat the building. This is fun. All right, well, I'm in the process. I rub type curing for seasoning. As you see, I've cut the uh, pork belly up in slabs. It's been patted dry. And now I'm mix mixing in maple syrup, curing salt, kosher salt, fresh ground black pe pepper, dark brown sugar. I put a teaspoon of the curing salt, or your pink powder, two tablespoons of kosher salt, three tablespoons of the dark brown sugar, half a cup of dark maple syrup. A darker syrup is going to give you more flavor. It's been boiled down more. It's a richer, stronger taste. I'm going to pat this onto the meat and put into baggies, which will go into the fridge. And I turn over each day, pressing the goodness and coating the meat each time with what's in the bag. And just working it for a week. And then we're going to do some smoking. Some will be done in an apple smoke, a maple smoke, and a variety of flavors where I can do a variety of things with it. But looking forward to camping with my own bacon and let the smells go through the campground. Let line them up, come for breakfast. Okay, I've blended everything and ready for me to apply. I'm working to the pork belly and then I'll be bagging it and off to the fridge. Another step in progress. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good. All right. I've got a coating on. I've done all around. Time for packing. First of many, maple. Can never have enough bacon. Who agrees? My second rub piece is done of maple.
And now the third maple is done. All right, three maples I've done. Oh, it's going to be good. But, uh, like this is a first for me. So let's be creative when I'm at it too. I'm going to do uh, a different type. I'm still going to put the kosher salt, curing salts, black pepper, dark brown sugar. But now it's honey and applesauce. And thinking of smoking this in an apple wood. So, um, sounds good. And it will be good. Looking forward to the next breakfast and other creative items. Now this is coated with honey and applesauce. Thinking of like an apple crisp apple. Honey apple. With black pepper, brown sugar, curing salts, kosher salts. I'm going to do two of these. Package one of honey apple. Okay, now I'm on slab number six. I had uh, some extra of the applesauce and the honey mixture. So I added honey garlic to it. So I'm going to do this one piece with it. It would be great in, uh, say, a fried rice. or I'll be very creative with it. But uh, just add some uh, more honey garlic to it. And uh, see how this turns out. If you don't try, you don't know. Mm. You can try any type of flavors, nice combinations that suit your taste buds. Um, you like something, you do it again. You don't like it, you change it or don't make it again. But the idea is to try. If it works out, just think for family times, how, we, how nice. Share something with somebody, make something homemade. Always makes a nice little gift. In that creative cooking mood, uh, two smaller pieces left. So what I'm doing, I've used the curing salt, kosher salt, pepper, pretty well everything the same. Except it's molasses that's added this time instead of the maple, or applesauce, or the honey. The yeah, idea is with these pieces, once done, um, put in some pork and beans. Make a homemade pork and bean up. And just use some of this for flavoring. Probably be throwing some of my other bacons in too. You can do steps today that help make something very flavorful for another day. Your work always pays off. It makes each dish a little different. Give it that extra little bit. Got the last of it all coated. This one is the molasses. It's going to be interesting to see how it all turns out. And don't forget, uh, this takes a week for, of curing. And I turn it over and mix it every day until that process is done. And then we get into the smoking of it. And then taste. All packaged and all ready for the fridge for the curing stage. All right, this is day one of being in the fridge. The curing, I'm going to turn them over. And they say work, work it. And that's what I'll be doing to each bag. Now we'll do all of them. Same thing. See, there's nothing there. And now you do. Oh, I'm anxious. It'd be hard to wait a week. This is the first time making bacon. Another day, another step to goodness. Now on day two of the curing, Taking it out of the fridge and turn it over. I'm going to be mixing it all in. 
and back in the fridge. A seven day process. And, uh, I am anxious. But it's coming. Very bountiful. Be a lot of good meat. Thank you. Day three of the curing of the bacon. I've already uh, worked the packages and turned them over. Just about to put them back in the fridge. I'm noticing color change. Let's say the magic word, B-A-C-O-N, B-A-C-O-N, bacon. It's coming. We're now at day four of the curing process. I've just taken them out of the fridge. I haven't done, I've done anything with them. But uh, let's take a peek. I said there would be juice. Very, very nice. Very pleased with him. Very, very good. Very pleasing. Very, very pleasing. Then four. Three more to go. Every day is an important step. It's doing magic. Each day inside. Securing. Day five, taking it out of the fridge. I've already um, worked them, turned them over, ready to put them back on trays and back in the fridge. I just want to share with everybody. My molasses one for baked beans, apple sauces. Honey, maple, we are getting closer, oh yes, it is day six for the curing, just took this out of the fridge, going to be a quick video, I haven't worked it yet, I'm going to do that right away, I want to get it back in the fridge, getting excited, figured I'd get it back in the fridge, sooner day seven will come, just wishing. And uh, day seven tomorrow, and then uh, we clean them off, and smoking time's coming. A very good day is all right, day seven. I'm done my brine. So I'll be unpackaging these, rinsing them off, patting them, in dr patting them dry, and off to the smoker. I'm going to be doing an apple smoke in a maple smoke so I have two smokers set up and uh, here we go the process continues I'm just out here on the balcony I've got uh, my maple chips and my apple chips two smokers with little chiefs all right, I've uh, unpacked them, rinsed them, and patted them dry. There's three apple 
sauce and honey. And then one of the molasses ones I did, I'm gonna do one in the apple wood, and I have another piece that I'll do in the maple wood. I have, as I have three uh, maple bacons. So I'm gonna get, I do like a, a, a peppered bacon, um, but so I'll have a peppered taste and the sweetness. Um, kind of looking forward to it. So I'm gonna be sprinkling lots of pepper on. Okay, I'm gonna take these out to the smoker. We're actually ready to go in. Now these are my maple ones. I just took uh, one piece of the molasses out to the smoker I've set up for maple. Uh, with the maple wood. Maple curing. Just going to put the uh, finish putting more pepper on and out to the smoker these go. And we'll take it from there. Now they take just a little close up of the baking slab. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm, glad, I'm really glad I've done this. That's been a little bit of work, but it's just a little bit each day. I'm setting up first day. And you're sitting there uh, enjoying a nice piece of something you've made. Better than you'll get out of store. It becomes instantly worthwhile. Okay, all closed up and they're on. And this is just a slow smoke process. It's not a hot smoke, it's a cold smoke. It's not a very high temperature. But to me, this is a continuation of the curing. And of course, awesome, awesome flavoring. The aroma cloud of the flavor that awaits. This is a good thing. I just had to come out and take a peek. It's my maple one. Honey apple, and of course the, the two molasses at the bottom. All good, as I would say. Close up shop and keep doing its thing. Okay. Good time has passed, a couple hours. I'm out check, check on it. I've turned them over, is what I've done. Added new wood. One's running, one on the left's running a little hotter. That I've noticed. And it is coming along. All right, just rotated the meats. Just come out, give a check on them. Smells great out here. Say they're very done. They look fantastic. I took one slice off. That everyone is good looking homemade bacon.
This is a sound I've been looking forward to since I started making the bacon. Sampling for breakfast. Rounds and yes, farm eggs, local farm eggs. Oh, it smells good. Now, just being the cook, you get to take a little taste, add a taste of the bacon. Honey and applesauce. Oh, it's so sweet. Smoke flavor with the sweetness. I'm impressed already. I can't wait to have some of all of it. I just stay happy. B A C O N. Oh, man. A breakfast of happiness. And all things give thanks. And life changes and uh, you have to come up with new ways to do things and this is one. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hungry. I'm savoring the moment. And I'll just move the bacon around and the hash browns, frying it up in the Ever so tasty bacon fat. This is not restaurant food. This is not grocery store food. This is way above. Worth the effort. These cold orange juice, hot coffee. Hot breakfast. Homemade applesauce and honey bacon. Hash browns and two eggs from the farmers close by. God bless. This is awesome. Wow. I'm going to buy bacon elsewhere. This is too good. Alright, thanks to the help of Brother Todd, we've been slicing bacon all day. Packaging them up. All good. <laughs>